Never before had Elon Musk felt the pressure of the American market as he did now. Since 2017, Tesla's market share has plummeted, reaching just 38%. This raised alarm bells. It was no longer enough to launch bold SUVs or futuristic pickups like the Cybertruck. It was time to do something that would appeal to the hearts of the middle class and, most importantly, their wallets. The Model 2 arrived as a direct response to this scenario. An electric car priced under $16,000, capable of fitting perfectly into the daily lives of American families. No over-the-top luxury. The focus here is affordable efficiency. The challenge was twofold. Win back consumers, while also not damaging the brand's image of innovation. Elon knew he needed to offer something beyond just a cheap Tesla. Pay. And that's exactly where the idea for a project that blended simplicity with intelligence was born. A smaller, more practical car, but packed with genuine technological solutions. What's behind the Model 2 isn't a stripped-down version of previous models, but rather a strategic repositioning to ensure no one is left out of the electric revolution. This move didn't come out of nowhere. For years, Musk has been questioned about Tesla's promise of a truly popular car. The answers have always been evasive, until now. The Model 2 represents a concrete turning point, with a planned launch in the fourth quarter and production lines already in the works. The idea is simple. Eliminate all excuses for not driving an EV. And that includes price, maintenance, range, and even size. Everything has been reevaluated based on a new consumer profile, much more realistic than that of Tesla's early fans. While other manufacturers continue to target the premium market, Elon has turned the tables. Betting on the brand's cheapest car doesn't mean losing prestige, but rather demonstrating strength. After all, what elite automaker dares to enter the compact arena without appearing desperate? Tesla is banking precisely on the reliability of its technological base to prove that it's possible to deliver an affordable car without sacrificing its identity. What's more, it wants to show that affordable cars can also be durable, practical, and intelligent. The Model 2 thus emerges as a contextual product. It responds directly to Tesla's domestic sales crisis, but also speaks to the global scenario of inflation, fuel costs, and rapid urbanization. Rather than continuing to insist on large models that don't fit in parking spaces in big cities, the new project focuses on what truly matters to those who use their car every day. And for this very reason, every inch of the vehicle was designed with purpose. There's no room for excess. Another striking point is how Musk took the opportunity to revise not only the price, but also the entire production logic. Tesla is no longer a startup trying to impress investors, but a giant that needs to deliver concrete results. In this sense, the Model 2 also sends an internal message that the company can be efficient in every way, including on the factory floor. The promise of simplicity applies to both the buyer and those who build the car. If all goes according to schedule, the Model 2 launch could usher in a new era for Tesla. A time when cars aren't just for fans of the brand, but for everyday people who want a reliable and honest vehicle. This shift in positioning is bold, yes, but perhaps it's exactly what Tesla needed to reclaim its former leadership position. After all, true innovation is innovation that reaches the majority, not just the first in line. And of course, even with such a competitive price, Elon Musk didn't compromise on including standout technologies. The Model 2 is expected to come with a simplified structure, yet still be compatible with software updates and integration into the Tesla ecosystem. In other words, even though it's the brand's cheapest car, it remains connected to the broader vision of future mobility. And this could be the detail that transforms a strategic model into a symbol of reconquest. The Model 2's biggest surprise isn't just its price, but what's pulsing beneath its floor. Tesla has replaced the lithium-ion battery, already known for its risk of overheating, with something radically new, the aluminum-ion battery. This technology, 
previously seen as promising but far from mass production, is now presented as the definitive solution to safety and durability issues. Instead of flammable electrolytes, it uses stable ionic liquids that can withstand temperatures above 300 dilysters without generating dangerous vapors. In practical terms, this means that the chain reaction that can turn a lithium battery into a bomb never occurs here. This chemical change isn't a mere technical detail. Aluminum ion allows for a much more efficient response in extreme environments. Imagine crossing the Death Valley Desert, where the ground temperature exceeds 110 degrees. A lithium battery would be close to collapse, draining energy just to cool itself, while the Model 2 maintains an internal temperature of around 16 degree and continues operating normally. Tesla engineers compare this behavior to driving with salt water in the tank instead of gasoline, such as the difference in risk and stability. For the average driver, this means no longer needing to fear explosions or sudden fires. The secret lies in the way aluminum ions move within this special electrolyte. They don't suffer from the same dendrite formation problems that plague lithium cells, those tiny needles that can pierce internal separators and cause fatal short circuits. This electrochemical stability translates into longer lifespan, more consistent charging cycles, and less capacity loss over the years. A driver who regularly drives in severe conditions will have a car that behaves the same way in the first and fifth years of use, a rare occurrence in the EV market. Performance in extreme temperatures doesn't stop with heat. In extreme cold, where lithium electrolytes tend to solidify and drastically reduce ion movement, the gel developed by Tesla to mix the ionic liquid with polymers keeps the structure stable. This prevents the battery from hardening and losing up to half its range in a few hours, as happens in some current models. Even in places like Minnesota or Montana, at 10 degrees C or below, the estimated loss in the Model 2 is only 10%, keeping performance nearly intact and without turning it into an ice brick. Another practical benefit of this stability is space and weight savings. Without the need for 80 cooling systems, common in lithium-ion batteries, the Model 2 can dedicate more space to effective energy cells and less to piping, pumps, and radiators. This explains why its range reaches over 350 miles per charge, even in extreme heat, losing less than 5% of its range. In contrast, models like the Chevy Bolt and Hyundai Ioniq 5 can lose up to 30% of their range just to keep their batteries cool under the Texas sun. This feature completely changes the user experience. Driving from Houston to Dallas or from Los Angeles to Phoenix without worrying about extra stops or performance degradation stops being a dream and becomes a viable routine. In cold regions, the confidence that the car will start in the morning without surprises becomes a decisive differentiator. Range anxiety, so associated with EVs, is virtually eliminated when you know that varying weather conditions won't deplete half of your charge in just a few hours. This new battery also redefines the car's durability. Without the chronic problems of accelerated degradation, the aluminum ion cells can maintain their capacity for tens of thousands of cycles. This means the Model 2 not only costs less to purchase, but also in the long run, because drivers won't have to face costly battery replacements or depreciation due to performance declines. The battery is no longer a weak point and becomes an asset, something that prolongs the vehicle's value and increases consumer confidence. Finally, there's a significant psychological impact to this technology. For years, fear of fires and problems in extreme weather has kept many people away from electric vehicles. By addressing this issue with a stable chemistry, Musk not only delivers a safer car, but also removes one of the biggest emotional barriers to EV adoption. The Model 2 isn't just trying to compete on price or range, it promises to change the perception of what an electric car can be, placing safety and reliability at the center of the experience. With the thermal safety challenge solved by the aluminum battery, Tesla moved on to another critical point, design. 
And instead of aiming for something too futuristic or distant from urban reality, the brand decided to go for common sense. The Model 2 appears as Tesla's first hatchback, something many have been asking for for years. At just 165 inches long and 71.5 inches wide, it's almost 30 inches smaller than a Model Y, which, in practice, means something simple and powerful. It fits in any space, especially in urban centers in the United States, where parking has become a daily scavenger hunt. This shape choice wasn't a coincidence. More than 70% of Americans drive short distances during the week, home, work, school, and grocery store. It doesn't make sense to take a giant SUV for these daily errands. The Model 2 responds directly to this lifestyle, being compact on the outside, but surprisingly spacious on the inside. The vertical trunk, opening from the bumper to the roof, provides nearly 49 inches of width by 78. Seven inches of height in the access area, enough to carry everything from everyday groceries to a fully assembled bicycle without any hassle. The flat trunk with no raised edges also eliminates a common problem with compact electric vehicles, difficult access to the bottom of the trunk. With the rear seats up, there's already 20 cubic feet of available space. When folded down, that number jumps to an incredible 1,100 liters. That's double the amount offered by a Honda Civic, for example. This creates space for long trips, sports equipment, or any other real-life needs. Instead of feeling like a limited entry-level car, the Model 2 delivers true versatility, something many mid-size sedans still fail to offer. Another notable feature of the design is the attention to ergonomics. The 80-degree trunk opening allows someone 1.85 vilipeters tall to stand upright without having to lower their head. This, which may seem like a small detail, makes a difference in daily use. Whether it's changing a diaper, organizing groceries, or simply grabbing your child's backpack in the late afternoon. It's the kind of practicality that only emerges when someone has truly considered who will use the car and not just how good it would look in the advertisement. This concept extends to the rest of the interior. Although Tesla hasn't yet revealed all the details of the finish, it's speculated that the dashboard will follow the same logic as the brand's other models, minimalist, functional, and featuring the famous touchscreen control center. The difference here will be the size and positioning of the elements, adapted to a lower, shorter car that needs to maintain comfort without sacrificing space. The biggest advantage may lie in modularity, allowing the car to adapt to different lifestyles. And that's precisely why the Model 2 seems to have been designed with the weekend in mind. Not just Mondays filled with traffic and obligations, the interior space is sufficient for a tent, a portable refrigerator, and an inflatable mattress, transforming the car into a small camping base. No improvisation or tinkering, it's a natural use of the space. And if you want to carry a bike or surfboard, you can do that too. No rack, no straps. Just fold down the seats and take advantage of the flat interior volume. This versatility also directly impacts its target audience. The Model 2 isn't just for young urbanites or tech enthusiasts. It can be a family's second car, a student's first car, or the main vehicle for those seeking efficiency without ostentation. It's this kind of breadth that makes the project so promising. Rather than a niche product, it presents itself as an electric all-rounder, ready for any task, from the supermarket to the mountains. And the curious thing is that this simplicity of design doesn't compromise its visual appeal. Even though it's a hatchback, the Model 2 carries Tesla's aesthetic DNA. Clean lines, an aerodynamic silhouette, and an absence of exaggeration. It doesn't try to attract attention, but it does. And this says a lot about the brand's current momentum, which seems more interested in functionality than showmanship. After all, a car's beauty can also lie in the intelligence with which it solves everyday problems. If the Model 2's physical practicality is impressive on the outside, its intelligence on the inside is no less impressive. What makes this car even more special is the way it evolves without ever leaving the garage. 
Like its more expensive siblings, the Model 2 is fully integrated into Tesla's digital ecosystem, receiving constant over-the-air updates that expand its functionality over time. This means the car you buy today won't be the same a year from now. It'll be better. New autonomous driving features, energy efficiency improvements, entertainment apps, or even bug fixes can be installed with a simple click on your phone. This type of update completely changes the relationship between car and driver. Instead of seeing the vehicle as something that ages with each passing year, Model 2 owners now see it as a piece of equipment that keeps pace with technological advancements. There's no need to upgrade to the latest model to get the latest technology, and this directly impacts resale value, as the car doesn't become obsolete as quickly. Tesla breaks the buy depreciation trade cycle and gives consumers a level of control previously only available with high-end electronics. Furthermore, Tesla invested heavily in making the Model 2's maintenance virtually non-existent. By eliminating the combustion engine and adopting a direct drive system, the number of moving parts was drastically reduced. With the help of gigacasting, which molds the entire car's structure into just three main parts, the brand was able to eliminate over 90% of the traditional welding points and mechanical joints. The result is a more robust vehicle, less likely to develop gaps, noise, or structural failures over the years. And best of all, all of this also reduces production costs, which helps keep the final price down. Another important detail is regenerative braking, which reduces wear and tear on the conventional braking system. Fewer pad replacements, fewer visits to the mechanic, and less worry in everyday life. Not to mention the remote diagnostic system, which allows Tesla to identify problems before the driver even notices. Minor software bugs, sensor failures, or calibration adjustments can be fixed remotely, without the need for a dealership appointment. In more specific cases, Tesla sends mobile technicians directly to the customer's home. This maintenance autonomy represents real savings. Studies indicate that owners of combustion engine cars spend, on average, $1-$200 per year on services such as oil changes, filters, belts, and general overhauls. A Model 2 owner, on the other hand, can spend up to $800 less per year, a difference of $4,000 to $5,000 over five years. And this figure could be even higher if we consider the time saved by avoiding trips to the repair shop, waiting in lines, getting estimates, and delays. Time, after all, has value too. These operational advantages place the Model 2 in a privileged position among entry-level vehicles. While many cars in this price range come with expensive maintenance or recurring structural failures, Tesla's proposal is just the opposite, a car that pays for itself over time, both in comfort and economy. And even without mentioning the tax incentives or environmental credits that some American states offer for EVs, the Model 2's total cost of ownership already makes it more advantageous than several gasoline-powered competitors. Furthermore, ease of use extends to everyday digital life. 